Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 91 of my Direwolf 21.18 Let's Play. And I'm here in my world suffering from pollution <laughs> from all the tech I've been building. So, <laughs> yeah, um, today we're going to be going into further into pneumatic craft and further into mechanism because I have been. I've been trying to make progress with mechanism as well. Uh, let me show you what I have done with mechanism. It's not a whole lot, but it is, you know, an improvement. <laughs> uh, what I've done is I've set up to make uh, the enriched diamond machine and the refined obsidian, which I need to make some more of. Yeah, let's do that. So that'll. Why do I have so much dust? Okay, it's using the dust first. All right, all right. Uh, but I, I automated the making of the atomic alloy and the reinforced alloy as well as getting the refined obsidian dust so I can make um you know upgraded stuff so what I did was I made these up to the elite uh factory <laughs> uh haven't done the the ultimate yet uh I was just I just got this guy set up to where I could make all the stuff and things uh so yeah but i did get that done i'm very happy because i was able to get these up to from three to seven slots because i was getting quite backed up uh i'm getting a lot of iron look at that i got fifty thousand iron <laughs> and and that is amazing i need to get some of these iron to go into my uh trash cans just got to set it up uh but <laughs> yes i did that so i have progressed in mechanism to where i can get uh i also made it to where i could make uh, i could craft the ultimate logistical transporters and the mechanical pipes and the universal cables i think there's only one more type of pipe that I haven't made, and I think that's the one for gases. Uh, so I'll probably try to go ahead and do that one as well, just so anytime I need it, I can just get the ultimate and, and be done. Because <laughs> uh, I'm planning to build a super secret underground base. Well, maybe not so super secret, but uh, it will be an underground base. <laughs> and because I'm, I'm running out of room in these little... Uh, compact machines while they're great uh, I do have to claim a whole chunk and this chunk actually can't be loaded because I've claimed all my uh, force loaded chunks oh wait this one is loaded it's the new one that I just made for pneumatic craft that can't <laughs> that can't be chunk loaded because I'm out this one I, I put this guy in and I got uh, a bigger uh, pressure chamber, so that's good. Um, I, I can't get it to shut off yet because I don't, I can't have the uh, modification that I need to, to have this shut it off and stuff. So, um, yeah, I can't hook that up right now. I just can flick this lever and it will turn it on. Uh, I'm not actually making anything now, so the two bars that it has is is good. It'll keep that until I need to make it, so I'm just going to leave it off for now until I need to make some more stuff. I do have some compressed iron made up, like 400 of it. It's already made up, so hopefully that will last for a little bit. Uh, I did want to get it auto crafted so it will send like I could tell it to send 64 here 
Um, I don't know. Yeah, I'd have to pull all that out to be able to order it. So I'll give you a demonstration. <laughs> to do B. Um, what did I want? I need to get some of this stuff out of my inventory. It's it's bothering me. <laughs> um, so actually, I could throw these guys in there too. And boop, 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 boop. Uh, I did we get my shield in. So everything is where it belongs. I did get this guy going. Check it out. But the temperature is only 99. <laughs> so I don't think it's quite working right. But I did have it. I did remember. Chase reminded me. I uh, forgot. To put the ice underneath here, which made a little bit of a difference. Uh, it is flickering to a hundred. Do have all the covers on every other spot, uh, so I don't know how else I could increase the temperature. Maybe if I had uh, blue ice. Isn't there a way to make blue ice? Uh, nine packed ice. Let's do that. And maybe I should have it make the blue ice instead, but I want to see if uh, that will that will work. Oh dude, I gotta I gotta turn this off real quick. Okay, because <laughs> it'll just replace it if I break it. Oops, I gotta do, I gotta change it back to break. <laughs> Get that, and boop, blue ice. Now I can, uh, let's tell it to make blue ice. I just need to add that to, but did it work? Is it going up? It still looks like it's at 99. But I am getting stuff, um, not a lot. I'm at 198 millibuckets, 200 millibuckets. So it is working. It's just kind of right in that, that line of, of temperature where it's just barely enough to go. Oh, um, how about this guy? Yeah, this guy needs only... Maintaining like a one, uh, I don't know. Do I need to put like another compressor on there to get the to get it higher? Let's get try that again. But let me finish this so that it's placed in the blue ice instead of the packed ice. All I gotta do is make one recipe of ice. Boom, boom, boom. Place it over here, and then uh, the little guy will work, especially after I turn him back on. I think I, think I left him off. <laughs> but yeah, this one, I can't, uh, only gonna be loaded when I'm in there, uh, which is really motivating me to start and and at least get my base up and running uh, i have been down there digging a little bit um and using the builder to clear uh, sections out it although it, it kind of really hasn't um always worked out for me yeah let's turn this guy back on Okay, so now it should automatically replace the block. Uh, I mean, I thought the bottom temperature would get lower than that. I don't know, but it is, it is um, you know, teetering on 99 and 100, so it is working. 
Yeah, so I guess let's get another compressor. See if this helps. I know there are other types of compressors. Let's put so let's just put this right next to this guy. Oh, oh, oh I already put the charcoal away. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 I forgot. This guy is getting filled with charcoal. <laughs> uh, it's like uh, the crafter is crafting the charcoal until this chest is full. And then that chest will feed uh, these these guys. So they always have charcoal, which is nice. It's nice not having to work. Oh, I forgot the pipe. No, my air. My air. My freaking air. Oh, I put it in the system. No. Oh, it's too something. Ooh. Hey. Okay, okay. That's good. Okay, let's see. Did that help at all? I think I, yeah, drop the pressure until it can pick it back up. Hopefully it can go over one now. Maybe. Okay, it is going over one. Woo oh, that's good. So maybe we will be able to get it over a hundred. Oh, look, the court, the bottom temperature is rising. I think it's actually going to go over now. Awesome. I like that. Um, you haven't used that much charcoal. It's been burning the whole time. So it's only used like nine charcoal. That's cool. All right. So I guess what I could do is put another one on here, I guess. Let's get a presser. I'm not really that far into pneumatic craft, so an air compressor is like Oh, yeah, charcoal over here. Oh, and I guess I better hook my pipe up first. Oh, and that didn't even drop it below one, so that's really super good. Oh, yes, okay, we're getting it. The bottom temperature is 170 degrees. Even though that's going up, this is still staying 99. I guess it's that as high as it can go and it doesn't matter. Uh, hey, I'm happy it's working. It's working. Um, and I do have that tank so I can go, I can go clear it up. I can go clear up the rest of that. That oil. Uh, it is just sitting there. It's already in the pump. It just doesn't, it didn't have enough room to <laughs> to discharge it because the tank was full. So I should just be able to set this guy on top. Oh. On top. Aha! And then it should drain out all the crude oil. Nice. So I have to knock off one of the cupboards in order to get this to feed into there. Uh, but I was wanting to clean up this little doodad right here as well. Oops. I guess I could just do it by hand. I 
because it doesn't look like it's that big. Um, I don't know if this is one of those that you can use in a bucket. I don't think so. This is the pneumatic craft tank. So I don't think it can do that. Are you in the middle? One. There we go. Now I've got a little bit of extra land to work with up here. Sweet. Uh, so we can just tear this down. Ah. Sweet. Um. So we got that. We can put some more uh, oil on our system. Um, now I wonder, since this chunk is loaded, does this thing get cold? Or does it... Wow, look at the temperature drop there. What happens if it gets too cold? I'm almost up to two bars. Ooh, it's passing two bars now. Nice. Uh, so have to Oh yeah, it's not going to place a block. All right, where's my doodad? Uh, that's the only way you can take those things off without just breaking the block. Uh, so, drill pipes. I need my uh, mechanical pipe. Boop. And I guess we can just set it up here. And then I'm also going to need my other doodad, the configurator. I had to break down and make that finally. And it just drained all of it almost. Awesome. I like that. I like that kind of pump. It makes me reminiscent of some of the more pleasurable build craft builds with you know setting up your your oil rig to combine all of the oil sorry i have a it's really hot here today <laughs> and i have a slushy uh so it's cooling me off Awesome. So we have the stuff coming in for the the LPG, but uh, what what are we using this for? Um, you can use it to make molten plastic in a thermo pneumatic processing plant. <laughs> so we need this guy in order to turn our LPG into molten plastic. Um, dude, I kind of swore there was uh, some seed oil that we needed. Oh, I think that's to make something different for the speed upgrades with plastic and something else. Oh, you can use it as that. Oh, that is that plastic. Oh. It just, it looks so much different. It's like new. Um. So yeah, we just take the mold. Oh, check this out. This is something that I noticed from earlier. I've been trying to figure this out for uh for something uh 
But check this out. The constructor has this little button down here where it will drop the block instead of placing it. Um, so it would be kind of like a little bit more like a dispenser. So I want to try this out on another contraption that I, I've been trying to automate the flux, but I don't really need it. <laughs> but I wanted to automate it for some reason, even though I don't need it. I mean, I have enough flux right now. Uh, I still have 1.3 thousand. So far, I know they say that it's not, there's no limit on the amount of redstone you can convert into flux dust, uh, but I have placed a lot of redstone down at one time, and the most that it can do at one time is like eight stacks. Anything more than that, it doesn't get converted. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I was wanting to just uh, do that so I could get a Herculean flux storage, but even a Herculean flux storage doesn't hold that much. It's 8 million FE. So uh, one of the things I also want to prepare for is to get um, the, what is it, induction, induction cell? Uh, this little guy from Mechanism, you get these induction casings. Uh, can I do it? No. Okay, let's change this. Uh, a uh, induction ports, which we'll need. Uh, do, 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 do. I think this is just for your input and output. Uh, and these are the things that you could put inside. You have a cell and then you have a provider. Um, the provider allows for the input and output, and each provider will increase the rate of input and output. So this one, you can see it provides 102,000 KFE. I'm sure that's a tick, and this one provides 819. So it's pretty awesome. Uh, so I definitely want uh, some of these guys. So the ultimate induction cell and the ultimate induction provider. Uh, I think that's all the parts you need. Isn't there glass for this? Maybe I should look at I will turn it back to normal. Oh, I think it's called something different. So let's scroll down to, here's the things. Is there not, there's no, that's fission reactors. That's not the same thing. It's not the induction cells. So I must have missed it. Aha, nope, that's SPS. Uh, super, uh, punky station. <laughs> now I know I know it stands for something uh, really cool. Uh, I built one of those in my ocean block, but I just can't remember. Wait, I don't think this is it. Aha! I found you. Structural glass, is that it? Can you put structural glass? I don't know. I think you just use the casing and no glass. All right, well, this is something that I really, really need because if I'm going to go to a new base, I need a good power supply, a good a good battery to store all my excess power. And I wanna have a lot of power so I can do all the things. So this will put me 
one step closer to my goals and dreams <laughs> so yeah um if we could set this up how much time we got a few minutes maybe we could set these up to autocraft and in between episodes i could build this out and figure out where i want to put it in my new base because i haven't really even i started excavating but that's about it oh look at the top temperature is 130 now oh yeah it's look it's going much faster oh this is so good uh, i don't have a lot of crude oil uh but i did see jake's base and i saw how you get some some crude oil yeah <laughs> so we're we're doing the stuff how much do we have we have 1800 millibuckets of lpg now i just gotta figure out what i can do with the kerosene and the, the gasoline and the diesel because Honestly, I don't know what to do with all those. I know that this will make the plastic. So, <laughs> this is cool. I mean, uh, the pneumatic craft has always had this uh, really unique way of, of doing things other, different from other mods. So, I kind of like that, that, that it's not the same as everything else. How are we doing on charcoal? Uh, probably since this this is, seems pretty stable and it doesn't seem to be climbing above three bars, I could just hook the charcoal up to these the same way as I did over here and just have it have a chest. Maybe not as big of a chest. <laughs> Maybe I don't need a diamond barrel for this. I wanted to use the barrel instead of the chest because that way I could butt it right up against the, the bottom of the pressure chamber uh, and still open it because the chest you wouldn't be able to do that uh, and I wanted to use as little space as possible. I didn't know how much room I would need for this and it's not even the right stuff yet. I can't even use it yet. Yet. So... I think I can take those off because they're really not doing anything just yet. Where's my little doodad? Haha. <laughs> so I can save those for another day once I have the rest of stuff and things. Uh, but for now, that's good. I don't really need um, a lot of the compressed iron just yet I have 400 so good i just want to make sure this maintains uh, three plus this isn't actually running when i'm not in here so it does it doesn't have a whole lot left to process though so uh i think it'll be okay so let's try and go get these things set up for autocraft real quick Uh, it should, shouldn't take too long, hopefully. Oh, crap. Over here. Do we got, um, let's go ahead and get, uh, some more patterns. Just so I don't have to worry about it. It's just there. Uh, so we want to teach it an induction case, which we already know how to make steel, uh, but we need to know how to make this little energy tablet, which we have all this stuff, so that is good. <laughs> induction casing, done. And the induction port, uh, yeah. Got that one. That was super duper easy. Now the, indu the induction cells are going to be different because uh, they have multiple steps. Oh, it takes an energy cube and induction cells. Awesome. So this is the ultimate induction cell. 
Yeah, these are going to be the ones that take a while to set up. Uh, we need the elite induction cell and an ultimate energy cube. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... Okay. Two. Oh, so we have to do all the energy cubes too. Ah! So let's put that up there and we'll do the elite boink. And then we'll do the advanced boink. And then the basic. Uh, actually, I still need to do the basic one. Oh, what is this? Lithium dust? No! <laughs> I have no lithium. I have not set up lithium. This is a problem. Uh, this will be something that I definitely need to take care of. A chemical crystallizer. Lithium. So how do you get lithium? Lithium. Uh, this seems to like be circuitous. Um, I thought you got lithium from thermal. Deconcentrating from liquid lithium. Okay, how do you get liquid lithium? The condensating. Ah, oh, here it is. The thermal evaporation controller. Yeah, this is the guy that I was thinking about. Yeah, we have to set up a thermal evaporation controller uh, doodad. All right, so I guess uh, I was thinking of probably streaming later. Maybe I'll try to set this up on stream. Um, so <laughs> threw a wrench into my plans. I completely forgot about this. Uh, so what we might want to do is instead of continuing our auto craft of all this stuff, I can go ahead and uh, throw this stuff in here, but I'll put it down here so that it's not with the other stuff. So I know it is not finished. Oh, I did that twice. Did that one twice. Advanced deduction cell. Let's just get rid of that one. And uh, we can start, what, is, what was it called? A thermal, yeah, this guy, thermal evaporation block. Uh, so, Oh, I hate and love this at the same time. Uh, a evaporation valve and evaporation control. Um, there are also uh, heater blocks. I thought. Um, some type of heater. I think it's this resistive heater, external heater uh, that you can put next to it. Probably the resistive heater uh, that you can put next to this to uh, 
make it a little bit more efficient, less less time taking involved. Uh, so yeah, let's try to set up the auto craft for these blocks real quick so that we can get the stuff and these for next episode to keep this going or for the stream tonight. Uh, I don't know if I can make it. I'm hoping <laughs> I'm hoping I'll have enough energy to do it. Uh, it's been a long week so Sorry if you hear me stirring my slushy. It's it's kind of melty right now. So nice and frozen. Hmm. There we go. That didn't take long at all. Uh now I have to probably look up the dimensions that are for this uh, multi-block structure because I don't remember it off the top of my head. Uh, so yeah. Um, there we go. Uh, so I don't know. I know I'll probably only need one controller and maybe one or two valves to pipe liquids in and out. Um, and then, but I don't, I don't know dimensions. Uh, I think it's a three by three interior, but I'm not certain. So anyway, uh, <laughs> I got more stuff to do to get to where I want to go. Um, there is something that I want to check though that I haven't. This is a new pneumatic craft, and I've been wanting to get into pneumatic craft for something specific uh, for my base because uh, I thought it would be this really cool um, I really do uh, do think it would be cool to have all oh, they do have it it's an elevator. I want an actual elevator, <laughs> an actual elevator to be in the middle of my base. So this, this is really good. This is what I want. Um, this is what I want. I need this in my life never built one of these uh elevators because i was like well what's the purpose i have uh, you know the little elevator blocks <laughs> i have these why do i need an elevator but this is an actual mechanical elevator that you can ride off and 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 that's what i want <laughs> i want to be able to ride down and look at the awesomeness of my base as I go down and see everything. I think that would be really cool. Uh, so that's what, what I wanted to get in pneumatic craft for, honestly. That and the robots. Uh, the robots are really cool. I haven't, I haven't actually used them. Uh, I never really got far enough into my my crash landing world to, to make the drones and that's something that I've, I've really wanted to do <laughs> but I just did it so I'm hoping that I can have some fun with some drones soon that would be super cool um yeah, so I'll go ahead and call the episode here. And I have lots of work to do now. I got plans and I need to make these plans happen. Oh <laughs> I know it's I'm I'm gonna leave, I promise. Um I was when I was clearing out my base down there, I decided that I want want the center chunk 
to be just for my elevator and be completely empty of everything but the elevator and, and just like maybe walkways to different sections. Uh, so I figured I would occupy the other eight chunks around that chunk. So I was clearing it out and I was using my builder to, uh, to mine and then I was going to have it clear uh, clear the dirt away and just clear it so that I could mine and get all of the stuff and things from it and uh, <laughs> it it I made a mis miscalculation on the placement of where the area that I wanted them to mine and I accidentally shifted it up 10 blocks uh, on the Y level too far and I meant to have it go down 10 Y levels <laughs> so it kind of went up a little bit too far and it may have completely destroyed my clay <laughs> my clay area uh, so yeah I, I had lots of my bricks uh, the ochre bricks yeah show up all the ochre bricks that I had lining my my clay stuff. You can see some of the uh, create things in there like the gearboxes and the mechanical belts, uh, the funnel. <laughs> uh, so yeah it's not um, <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> but to be fair I have quite a bit of clay stockpiled already so it's not that big a thing I can always you know I can always pick it up my real concern is with the amethyst farm uh, because it is in the next chunk um, I didn't use the the builder for that section what I would do is I would have the builder mine everything out and turn it into dirt and then I would just come behind with my laser and mine as far up as I could and just mine up all the dirt and it was so easy because the dirt breaks easy and I just mowed it down <laughs> so <laughs> so yeah I made I've got a big huge chunk of real estate empty and available for renovations <laughs> So I'm going to be working on that too. Anyway, for real now, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.